Been a minute since Margrave. Been two years, seven months, 19 days. You look good. I look the same. You look good two years, seven months, 19 days ago, so, yeah. You look the same. Know a PI who can help. Someone we can trust. Trusted her with my life on countless occasions. She hasn't let me down once. Preacher. Hello, Neely. How'd you know it was me? Only person with my private number other than my dad. And this time of day, he enjoys the jurisprudential musings of one Judge Judy. It's been a minute and a half. What's up? How's it going, big fella? Neely, I knew I'd track you down. You wish. I tracked you. 10 years together in special investigators, I know what you think. Figured I'd come to Midtown, avoid tourists, find a serviceable hotel close to mass transit near a decent restaurant. Hmm. I know after a morning flight with no meal service, Jack the Beanstalk's going straight for the mess hall. That's so sharp, right? Very sharp. So if he was dealing with something that could get him killed, you'd have to put it in a place that was very secure, but readily available. Somewhere in plain sight that we see every day, but a place no one would suspect. OK. So what's a place that's readily available that we entrust every day with very important items? This is a mailbox key. I ever tell you you're smart, Neely? Some kind of smart guy? Smarter than you. I'm also a man with a rule. People leave me and my pals alone, I leave them alone. They don't, I don't. I thought his rule was plans go to hell when the first shot's fired. It's an officer's club. No enlisted. How about I just finish my beer and I'll be on my way, OK, sir? How about you be quiet, your adult's talking? It's after five. 10,000 combinations if it's a four-number code. No point in trying. Good. Hate guessing passwords. I'll we'll have to come back tomorrow. So what do we do now? I'm providing you an opening, because I promised my mother I'd give dumb guys like you a chance to walk away. We got 12. You got nine. That's a shame. You were at least three short. Gotta say, man, major screw up. As soon as Russo wakes up, the entire NYPD's gonna be after your ass. Why'd you gotta hit him so hard, huh? I don't hit soft. <laughs> well, cop puncher's gonna do some serious time. I was pissed about the dog. I assumed he was involved in killing Franzi and Swan. What did you teach us? In an investigation, assumptions kill. No, it was in an investigation, details matter. I didn't kill him. I just broke his nose. He'll be fine when he wakes up. This is as far as we're going. What's going on, fellas? You guys are going to stop coming around here messing with our friends. Look, pal, we somehow got the. <laughs> Europeans, home sweet home. Can you get me some info on that house next door? On it. Isn't this all just mood of AMs being picked up at the airport as we speak? And if he keeps his mouth shut, we never learn who he's working with, and everyone else involved gets away with it. Barbara Gottelsman. She's 79, so be nice. Why wouldn't I be nice? Upstairs. Other than this dead body, all clear upstairs. 
focus on what we found. Brad? Stacy? This is a brat. That is a fastener. Two names for something that size is stupid. So is this conversation. Well, I'd actually forgotten about that. But it doesn't support your argument. Swan could have been stealing the drugs and just panicked and gave them back. Maybe he regretted letting a chance of big money go by. Maybe something like Little Wing came along and he couldn't pass out that kind of opportunity again. It's a lot of maybes. My gut tells me he's a good man. Your gut's never been wrong before? Not one word. Holy sh**. That's two words. Another one and I'll shove this kitten heel right up your I'm just saying you look nice. You both look nice. You look like the on top of a wedding cake. Here, I'll pay you back in a month when my pension lands. Yeah, your pension won't cover that suit. Or the hotel room. Or the plane ticket. I'll pay you back in two months. If Swan's really in that building, I'm gonna do the same thing I did to that guy. Wrap my hand around his neck and squeeze the truth out of him. And after that? Hello? Anyone? Kids playing a Nintendo Switch. If we knew her gamer tag, we could track the IP address to her device and that'd lead us to their location. Yeah, but how do we find her gamer tag? We go back to Marlo's house. We might be on another device there, like a smart TV. I ever tell you you're smart, Neely? Not nearly enough. The car's in the driveway. Decent chance he's home. I want eyes out here in case any of Marcia's pals show up. Copy that. Reacher. A good man died in my arms last night. Whatever you do to Marsh, make him feel it. Try one. You're like a first person shooter. I am a first person shooter. No, I'm making some frozen pizza if anyone wants it. Jane's tag is plain Jane 777. She does a lot of cross platform games. I log into my own account and play until she gets back online. Gonna need some gamer fuel. Uh, OD, see what Marlo has in the kitchen in the way of breakfast cereal. Puffs, pops, or pebbles, in that order of preference. Because he fights the power? No. Because he just gave me an idea. Little wing works. I'm not as comfortable with this arrangement as I thought I was. 
years without seeing each other, never speaking, getting together only when we're being shot at. We need to get better at staying in touch. Is that understood? Yes, Master Sergeant. That was my dad. What did you do? You'd have felt funny if I just put cash in your account. You won't take it away from your father. He's good for the rest of his life. Whatever he needs. There's more than a bit left over for you. I would tell you you're a good friend, Richard. Not nearly enough. One more thing. You refer to these special investigators as your team, your soldiers, even your friends. But you know we're more than that, right?